why also because our school is the language and our school is also English. We are an international business school. And I have to tell you, I shall use, of course, this, uh, this occasion not only to greet you, but to tell you what we are doing. We, were, uh, we exist now 27 years. And, uh, and uh, uh, 24 years ago, uh, we uh, had already our postgraduate studies, MBA, and we said we need to give some ethics to the students. And then I didn't know, I was by myself coming from social science, and I had ethics at the university, studying philosophy, sociology, and political science. Uh, but we were more studying, uh, studying uh, the directions, you know, the different philosophical uh, directions and the different understanding of ethics. So I said this is not probably the right thing. And, uh, and then I read an article of Bishop Gurmich, Slovenes would know him, and, uh, and, and he wrote about ethics and I invited him. I shall never forget that day. He had an hour of lecture on ethics. It was extremely good lecture, really something very touching, I have to say. And, um, and then, you know, when he stopped lecturing, people started to ask him questions. And they said, Mr. Germich, what is more, uh, more ethical? to tell to the government that you are really in a bad position with your company and that you need the help, etc. Or, and then of course, um, the government can say, we don't give you the help and then you are bankrupting and dismissing hundreds of people. I can't say thousands because we don't have such a big companies. I mean, at least not many. But still, you know, not anymore, somebody said. That's true, too. In that time, there were still some. But then, you know, or it is more honest to keep, you know, the secret and to give as long as possible still the salaries to people. And, and is that then more ethical because these people will have salaries and better life at least for some time? And you know what the bishop said? He said, I'm sorry, but on this I cannot answer because I'm not, you know, from this business, etc. I didn't think about that. So I can tell you from this time onwards, I tried to found, find a business person, my colleague, who was later joining us, and he is now teaching ethics in the school. And, uh, and later I shall say about, uh, because I shall be still in this uh, round table here, uh, in the panel, how we develop that further and what I am thinking about business ethics. Because in fact, I think that there is no business ethics when it's if it's no, no, if it's no, if we don't have a personal ethical ethics, you know. I think that everything starts from there. But in any case, here we are having for 23 years ethics in our longer programs. That was the same year as Stanford did it. We were then the first, one of the first 20 schools in the world that signed in 2007 the Declaration Prime, Principles of Responsible Management Education by, of the United Nations. And uh, since Harvard didn't sign it, we did it, 20 schools from Eastern Central Europe, uh, but Harvard didn't. And then, you know, they did not mention us for years. And I was complaining, I mean, for some years. And I complained and complained even when Al Gore was in Slovenia, he is a Harvard graduate, I'm a Harvard graduate. I told him this is not correct, you know. If Harvard is not there, the one of the most well-known schools in the world, then nobody is there, you know. This is not correct. But the, I have a big pleasure to tell you that now we have 500 business schools that signed this from 80 countries, and I became president of this, uh, uh, of this uh, prime steering committee for 2013. So, thank you. Uh, and yesterday I wrote a letter to Mr. Ban Ki-moon to tell him what we are doing. So, you know, it is not so often that you are corresponding like that. And, and, we have in this school also association Seamen, which makes, uh, makes uh, uh, two books, Rojas, and, uh, ba uh, on the basis of research on poverty and what can management schools do in the, uh, in the, you know, to er eradicate uh, the, to, um, the, to uh, uh, poverty. And this will be now the, these two books will be published. 
We were also winning the prize of American Aspen Institute that is dealing with responsible management education. We became one of the 100 business schools in the world dealing with this. We are organizing together with Sandy Cieszko Clinton Initiative. It will be this year in, um, uh, Sandy Cieszko is the president uh, of the well-known company Studio Moderna and he is uh, uh, very active in Clinton Initiative. We shall have this. And we are dealing and hosting every year Challenge Future. And I hope that Andrea Kudrin is here because this Challenge Future is a competition of uh, about 200,000 young people dealing with uh, ethical issues. Uh, this year they have, uh, but the rector of Maribor University is here who is a judge in this because we have a competition and in this competition we are looking for, uh, for the best proposals concerning sustainable development, ethical issues. This year is a job creation, etc. So this would be uh, a little bit of uh, PR for our school and for Central and East European Management Development Association that has headquarters here, but it became, in fact, now it's still called CEMEN, CE men but it became a global association of, uh, uh, we call it now uh, for leadership, uh, International Association for Leadership Development in dynamic societies. And we don't want to say emerging markets because firstly, it's not only market that we are talking about, but there are societies. And secondly, I think that we are slowly emerging and that we emerged and now, but we, we would like if we are not already uh, develop dynamically. I would like to thank you for your attention. I would like to thank you for coming here and sharing with us this, uh, uh, this wonderful ideas that we shall be hearing today. I forgot to say that we have in September 22nd, 23rd here also the World Summit, Summit on Principles of Responsible Management Education. So I invite you already now to come. We would like especially to have business people into and politics. Politics is too or less coming here, I have to say. We would like to have more people uh, from public administration and from politics because we think that only together we can really work for a better world. Thank you and enjoy the conference. Thank you.